we make it a great one. Right, Chet Jr.? Woohoo! Miss Lauer! Get ready for the return of the delightful and action-packed universe of Gru, Lucy, and their adorable daughters, Margot, Edith, and Agnes, in Despicable Me 4. As they face new obstacles and exciting escapades, the family will meet familiar characters and confront new challenges that will test their relationships while delving into themes of love, family, and personal development. The film follows Gru as he faces off against an old friend, someone who he wronged when they were still in school. His actions and growing rivalry with the new villain, Maxime, lead to a new adventure where Gru's family must go into hiding. While the fourth installment of the Despicable Me franchise was fun to watch, some elements fans were hoping for were excluded. In today's video, we'll discuss what should have made it into the film. Ooh, full lockdown mode. <laughs> Yay! Number 1. The Return of Former Villains Fans eagerly anticipated the comeback of past villains such as Vector and El Macho in Despicable Me 4, hoping for a more in-depth exploration of their characters. However, while these iconic characters had brief appearances, the film mainly concentrated on the main plot, leaving little space for the development of the villain's stories. Viewers were looking forward to witnessing how these characters, once formidable adversaries to Gru, embarked on their paths to redemption. The potential for amusing and touching moments between the former villains and the main characters was not fully realized. The interactions lacked the depth and intricacy that fans were hoping for. The film missed an opportunity to explore the humor and contemplation on the boundary between heroism and villainy, resulting in a somewhat superficial inclusion of themes shown throughout the other films in the franchise. Many fans were left unsatisfied by the missed opportunity to explore the themes of redemption and personal growth in more depth. While the brief appearances of former villains were enjoyable, they did not meet the expectations for a deeper storytelling approach that could have enhanced the overall narrative. As a result, characters that have been beloved in the franchise for a long time felt sidelined. A friend! I go down seeing you any day of the week! And all day Sunday. Number 2. More about Lucy and Gru's relationship. The connection between Lucy and Gru is fundamental to the Despicable Me franchise, and many fans were excited to see it explored further in the fourth film. However, despite being depicted, the film didn't delve deeply into their relationship as fans had hoped. It missed opportunities to show their character development by not addressing their parenting struggles and the balance between their past and present. These aspects were overshadowed by the main plot, making their relationship seem less important. The film missed an opportunity to feature more personal moments between Lucy and Gru, where they could have shared their challenges and victories. Their conversations about their dreams, fears, and aspirations were subpar, which made it difficult for the audience to relate to their experiences as a couple. While the playful banter and humor were enjoyable, they couldn't make up for the emotional depth many viewers sought, making their relationship feel superficial. The film missed a chance to show the growth of Lucy and Gru's relationship from rivals to caring life partners. By not exploring their partnership more thoroughly, the film fell short of fully engaging with the characters' playful banter and heartfelt conversations, which left fans hoping for more from one of the franchise's most cherished couples. Hey, I'll, uh, I'll be back soon. Oh, okay. There's something I need to take care of. Number 3. More of Margot, Edith, and Agnes the Despicable Me series has long revolved around the endearing trio of Margot, Edith, and Agnes, but in Despicable Me 4, their characters seemed lacking in depth. Although the film featured them in significant moments, it missed the chance to thoroughly explore their individual experiences, which left fans yearning for a deeper look into their personalities. Margot's evolution into a young adult could have been a compelling opportunity for character development and exploring her goals. Still, the film relegated her to a secondary role, neglecting her narrative. Edith's lively demeanor and love for adventure had the potential to bring both humor and heartfelt moments to the story. Many fans were excited to witness her pursue her passions and develop connections beyond the family dynamic, but these aspects were largely overlooked. While there's a brief scene where Edith shows her medal in martial arts, like her sisters, she also takes a backseat role in the overall plot. Rather than delving into Edith's distinct personality traits and personal development, the film emphasized the action-driven plot, missing out on the opportunity to showcase Edith's growth. With her charm and innocence, Agnes should have been given more screen time to highlight her playful nature. Despite her storyline involving her pet goat Lucky, the film failed to explore her aspirations and creative pursuits, which was a missed chance for her character growth. 
While Margot, Edith, and Agnes played their parts in the story, their journeys felt incomplete, disappointing fans hoping for more insight into their changing identities and relationships. Cool. I'm Blair. Brittany. My name is Bree. Number 4. Lucy's Past the potential of exploring Lucy's background as a former anti-villain league agent was largely neglected in Despicable Me 4. Many fans hoped for a more in-depth look at her past, including the experiences that influenced her to become the loving mother and partner she is today. Although there were indications of her adventurous history, the film failed to fully contextualize it, leaving her character feeling less developed than anticipated. For example, we learn from Despicable Me 2 that Lucy lost her parents to a villain, which led to her wanting to join the AVL. The newest film could have brought her character into the spotlight, showcasing elements from her past that would then impact her behavior in the present, especially her parenting style. It would have been interesting to witness Lucy's struggle in her role as a mother due to losing her parents in a traumatic way. Lucy's character could have been enriched by delving into her past adventures, friendships, and moral struggles. Unfortunately, crucial moments that would have shed light on her internal conflicts and personal growth were overshadowed by the main plot, leaving audiences unable to appreciate her journey fully. As a result, the lack of exploration undermined the impact of her character, leaving fans yearning for more insight into her motivations and development. Lucy's character arc felt incomplete due to the lack of a thorough examination of her backstory. The film's failure to address her past meaningfully limited the emotional depth that could have enriched the narrative leaving viewers wishing for a more profound portrayal of Lucy's journey and its impact on her personal life. No, I think that's all of us. Yeah. You know what? I keep forgetting. This guy! Number 5. Drew Grew Drew Grew's return in Despicable Me 4 was anticipated by fans who enjoy his flamboyant personality and comedic presence. However, he lacked a role in the film. He felt underutilized as he could have added another dynamic to Gru's family, mainly because they needed to take on secret lives to protect themselves from Maxime. Drew brought enriched humor into the franchise when he debuted in Despicable Me 3, and it was disappointing when he didn't appear in the following film. His role as an anti-hero who reminded the audience of who Gru used to be and how far he had grown was one of the best parts of the previous film. Additionally, the dynamic between the brothers was fun to watch and could have carried over into Gru's next adventure. Fans hoped to see Drew break free from just being Gru's quirky brother and evolve into a character with his unique story arc. Instead of exploring his aspirations or personal challenges, the film focused primarily on plot-driven action, sidelining his character entirely and abandoning his potential for growth. While Gru has a new family, including his wife and four children, it would have been interesting to include such an important part of his past. Ultimately, the missed opportunity to explore Drew's character in greater detail left many fans unsatisfied. By not providing a more substantial narrative focus on his journey and relationship with Gru, the film limited the emotional resonance that could have enhanced the overall story, resulting in a lackluster journey about Gru defeating an entirely new adversary. Despicable Me 4 was a thrilling continuation of the beloved franchise, bringing back the endearing characters and introducing new challenges for Gru and his family. Never thought I had what it took to be a villain, but now you can help me prove him wrong! While some fans may have felt that certain elements were missing, the film still offered an entertaining and heartwarming experience. Not to mention, like every film before it, the story's villain was compelling, wacky, and fun to watch on screen. Maxime was one of the better elements of the new installment. Still, the film's exploration of love, family, and character development alongside the family's exciting adventures ensured that it remained a delightful addition to the Despicable Me franchise. All right, there you go. <gasps> Yay! Thanks, Dr. Nefario. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Carrie and the boys are waiting for y'all on the court, and we are hitting the clubhouse.